fly healthy. All right, we got Jack on line two. He is looking for a second date update today with a lady named Paige. Hey, Jack. Hey, guys. How's it going? Going great. Thanks for asking. We're going to try to get you a second date here, Jack. That's the goal. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, Let me tell you what went down. Okay, so I met this girl on Tinder. Uh, You know, we met her for drinks. Um, That went really well. So uh, we went ahead and made plans to go to dinner the next night, and uh, that was also really great. Um, She came back to my place after dinner and uh, spent the night. Well, that sounds like a successful evening. Yeah, and uh, so I texted her the next day, and uh, she hasn't got back to me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little nervous. Uh, No, it's okay. I just so it sounds like the first date went as intended. Were you expecting more? Did you want more? Because it again, it was a I don't know. I guess not a tender hook. Well, it was a date and a hookup. What were you hoping for? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just more consistent communication uh, as we kind of developed this. Um, I mean, you know, she's really cool. Uh, We talked a lot about stuff. Um, She was really funny, cute. I don't know. I, I just uh, really liked her. Uh, I don't get to really like very many people. <laughs> <laughs> so you we know see people like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we might know one or two. Uh, so this is someone you want to see again then. This was not, you don't want just to hook up with her. You want to date her. Yeah, pretty much. I don't hang out with a ton of people. So when I meet someone like her, it's really nice. You know, I I just want to see her again. That's all. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, buddy. No. Nope. So you go out for drinks, you have dinner, she comes back to your place. Does she stay the whole night or does she leave in the middle of the night? Does she slip out? Well, how'd that go? Yeah, you know, she stayed the whole night, but she, she did kind of leave early, you know, ish uh, the next day. I mean, you know, it wasn't a, a whole lot of hanging out. Yeah, was that weird in the morning? Like, was it kind of awkward or did you get the sense that she was all about seeing you again? I felt like it was okay. I mean, it, I can't think of anything that was like a... a you know, like a real crazy turnoff or anything. Uh, yeah, nothing jumps out at you. Hmm. No, nothing I can think of. And uh, how aggressive have you been in, in, in trying to set up a second date? Uh, you know, it's it's kind of escalating. I, I'm probably texting and calling more than I should be at this point. Uh, that's why I was hoping y'all could help me out. It's gotten to the point now where you're bringing in Jeff and Jen. <laughs> the experts, yeah, right? Yeah, we're calling in for backup for sure. <laughs> uh, you're a brave man. We're happy to do that. Maybe y'all can get it sorted out for me. Yeah, we'll try to anyway. We'll do our best. All right, well, why don't we take a break here then, and when we come back, we'll call Paige and see what she thought of Jack and her night with him as Second Date Update continues here at Cincinnati's Q102. <laughs> Okay, Jack met Paige on Tinder. They met up for drinks, had a nice dinner. Seems to really like her, likes her enough he'd like to see her again. They did hook up. Everything seemed fine. We didn't get into too much detail. Jack's not really the type to kiss and tell other than the fact that he wants to see her again and kind of at the point now where he feels like if he escalates it anymore, it's going to get weird, which is why he's bringing in backup. He's bringing in Jeff and Jen, you guys. Let's do it. So unless there's anything you thought of during the break, Jack, that you think we need to know that would be helpful before jumping into this, now's the time. Otherwise, we're going to call her. Yeah, you know, I I guess I'm ready to hear it. (laughs) Are you? Be very sure. You're open to hearing it. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) How bad can it be? Yeah, I mean, I can't think of any kind of crazy stuff that I did. I mean... I think he sounds good so far. Yeah, I mean, you performed well, right? Yeah, I would like to think so. Okay. Okay. Several times. Ooh, <laughs> let's do you. Wow, all right. Let's give her a call, see what she says. Hello? Hi there. Is this Paige? Speaking. Hi, Paige. It's Jeff and Jen and Fritch and Tim and everybody here at Q102. How you doing? Whoa. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Are you kidding? Wait, I love that. Oh, this is weird. Are you serious? Yeah, it's us. This We're all weird. here. I, I literally was just telling my cousin. I'm like, well, I was saying, Are you just calling me about a second date update? Yeah, you kind of broke up a little bit. You were talking to your cousin about second date update? 
Yes. Is that why you're calling me? Uh, well, it is why we're calling you. <laughs> Who did you ditch? No way. <laughs> you cannot make that up. I must be psychic. Is this about Jack? Uh, yes, it is Jack. What happened? Oh, Oh my, okay, well, I listen to your show all the time. Let me just say that. Thank you. <laughs> and I was just talking with my cousin yesterday about Jack because he keeps text messaging me. And I'm like, watch, next thing that's going to happen, I'm going to be getting a call from Jeff and Jen wanting to know about a second date update. <laughs> and no way. It is a day later, and you guys are calling me? Like, you cannot make this up. You okay. see what happens when you put this stuff out into the universe? Yeah. I know. See what no, you did? it's not the first time I've manifested insanity. <laughs> so funny. I don't know. Maybe there's something about yeah. you that attracts that. Oh, uh, yeah. I've been told that before. So what did Jack have to say? He said you were lovely. He said you two met on Tinder and that you had, uh, I think you said drinks and then dinner and that you went back to his place. And he said everything was fine. He didn't get into too much detail, but... He seemed happy with uh, how things went there. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't get it. We asked him, you know, did anything feel weird? Was it awkward or anything like that? Do you think you did anything or said anything? And he said, no, not that I can think of. And yeah, he'd like to see you again. So w what's the deal? <sighs> well, <laughs> so, well, yeah, I can't I wait. It's got to be something. <laughs> well, there's a couple things. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I got a little tipsy. My judgment was a little impaired. And I, I stayed the night. You can kind of read between the lines. Yeah. I don't usually make a habit to be intimate on a first date, but I really was very attracted to him. But then, like, we're doing the deed, and we're both nude, but he's, like, refusing to take his socks off. And I'm like, why aren't you taking your socks? And it just, I mean, it, at first they kind of start teasing each other, but then I realized, like, this guy wasn't joking. He, like, literally would not, to the point where I thought he had OCD. And I'm like, I happen to be a nail technician. I should have prefaced it with this because I do pedicure for a living. Like, I've seen every type of foot there is to see. Nothing about your foot is going to turn me off. And he was just like, no. Like, he would not. I don't know. He just would not. And it just kind of weirded me out just take your socks off so we could be more comfortable. He's right. like, no, no, I can't do it. So <laughs> to add to the awkwardness of the whole experience, I leave there in the morning. I call my cousin, the same cousin that I was talking to yesterday about you guys. I call her and I tell her the whole story. And evidently there's some like thing going on out there where like, it, like people leave their socks on um, on a first date. It's like a superstition. Really? About what? I don't know. Something like if you leave your socks on on the first date, it's supposed to be good luck that you'll end up marrying the person. So she's like, he probably really likes you and left his socks on because he wants to marry you. Again, I Googled it. I couldn't find any such thing, but that's where I'm at, guys. Huh. Now, the guy, mm -hmm. now Jack won't stop texting me. So the sock thing is really bothering you, in part, I suppose, because well, he couldn't give you a, an explanation that you understood. Correct. Okay. I would love an explanation. Like, it's we it's just weird. I don't know. It's weird. Well, let's ask him. We have him on the line, because he, he called us about you, obviously. So let, let him explain. Jack, you're still there? Yeah, I'm still here. So what's the deal with the socks? <laughs> you know, I'd love to say there was some crazy, nefarious reason why. Okay, it's simple. I have bad feet. I didn't want her to see my bad feet. I've got this one toe I dropped a drill on. The nails turned all black, and it's about to fall off. Oh, and yeah. there's this other toe, you know, and I got a little fungus thing going on. Oh. You know, I don't really know how to get rid of it. I, so I just wanted to spare her the details of all the grossness and, you know... <laughs> So is it just with the current situation that you have going on with the, you know, the fungus and the black toenail? Once those issues clear up, are your feet still nasty beyond that? Or is it just that that's the problem? Well, I mean, you know, I don't have servants cleaning my feet or anything. I'm sure there's work to be done, but uh, <laughs> That'd be they're cool. mostly, you know, pretty good, you know, looking all right. Uh. She did say she's seen it all being a nail tech for how, how many years did you say it was, Paige? Eleven? Eleven, yeah. 
Well, yeah, but nail techs are usually dealing with just regular unhealthy feet. I mean, I've got <laughs> nails falling off here. <laughs> it's almost a medical <laughs> emergency, I would say, at this point. How does that strike you, Paige? I mean, does that go beyond what you expected, or have you seen that as well in your career? You, pre- I'm sure you probably have. Yeah, I mean, honestly... I kind of feel bad, like, if that's really what it was all along, Jack, you could have totally just told me that. I mean, what, you think I'd be that judgmental? I mean, I let you see my, you know. (laughs) (laughs) That's really funny. Yeah, but I'm not a gynecologist either, you know, I mean. (laughs) I wouldn't know what I was looking at. I had nothing to compare it to. Um, I wouldn't try to diagnose you or anything, is what I'm saying. I mean, you might know, you might be able to give him some tips on how to handle both those issues that he has going on right now. I mean, you might know a thing or two. Yeah, I want to look at it first, so he'd he'd have to show it to me. Um, Yeah, because I would totally go to my nail tech before I would go to the dermatologist. Oh, would you really? I totally would, yeah. Jack, I think it's interesting that you were trying to protect her from the ugly details because by not going into it, I think you weirded her out more, and that was her issue. Am I wrong, Paige? No, you're. That's a, you actually. That was actually very well put. So if he had just taken his socks off and just showed his gnarly feet, you, you would have been cool. <laughs> I know. I just, it wouldn't I'm have killed at, the mood. It wouldn't he, have turned you off. You should have seen the face Jen just made. I feel that communication is the foundation to any relationship. Yeah. So. I actually probably would have been, in all honesty, if he would have taken his socks off without preparing me, if it's as bad as he says it is. Right. I probably would have been like, well, that was a little inconsiderate. He should have forewarned me. <laughs> but if he would have told me the truth, it would be like, oh, no big deal. Let's continue on with our harmonious union yeah. and finish what we started. I don't think Jen would have been as understanding, Jack. I have to be honest with you. Judging from the faces uh, you that know, Jen's I been probably making. would have appreciated you leaving the socks on, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. And then I'm just going to trust you on it's that. It's like, you know, you, it's one thing if you've been married for 40 years and you're with somebody and, you know, old people see the nails get really thick and they kind of turn yellow. And before you know it, you're giving your spouse pedicures. It is. You see things, but it's you love different. someone. And, yeah. and love them long time, you know, sure. just. You're going to see things. And it's different. Right. But... Jen, how do you ever expect to get to that point if you can't be open and honest right off the bat? And for you, it'd be totally cool with feet. I'm sure that there are things that I would be open to hearing or seeing that maybe you would be slightly uncomfortable with, you know. I was, and I still showed him what I was uncomfortable with. (laughs) So that's why I'm like, I was vulnerable with you. You know, he could have been vulnerable with me. Yeah. Remember, Jack? Yeah. (laughs) It's all about being vulnerable. (laughs) Right. Right. Vulnerability is sexy 99% of the time. Oh, maybe I was too vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to let us know. Get him in your chair. Get him in your, get, get him, get his feet in the tub. See yeah. what, let's see the before and after. See what you can do. Jen wants pictures. I do. Okay. It's let's true. do it. Jack, yeah. we should do it. Does this mean you guys are down for a second date? Yeah. Only if he shows it. me his feet. <laughs> yeah. You want to show I, the feet, I, I, Jack? Yeah. I'll give her another chance. I have an idea. Okay. Why don't you come meet me at work? I'll do your feet. I'll do a pedicure. And then we'll go do something fun afterwards. I like that. Cool. That's yeah. nice. I like it. Yeah, that works yeah. for me. We got a deal. Yay. I'm excited. Good. Love it. I'm glad to hear that. That's what we want. God, we actually accomplished our goal today. What do you know? We set out to get a second date. We got a second date. Yep. Woo, woo. I'm kind of shocked that happened. I'm going to hang up before she changes her mind. <laughs> oh, I'm not changing my mind. I want to see this guy's feet. <laughs> yeah, you really are obsessed uh, you, with his yeah, feet. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like she's into feet. She's got like a Tarantino thing going on. Well, I don't, I don't know if it goes that far, but. <laughs> but maybe. Yeah. We'll find out. That'd be a first. I don't know of any women who are into feet. Do you? I don't know any personally. Hmm. I know some that are bothered by them. And some that are fine, but nobody that's obsessed. Yeah, Fritz is weirded out by feet. She doesn't like feet. She doesn't like even the nicest feet, clean feet. She right. can't stand no, feet. No, she's a no thank you. Yeah. In fact, she left the room. Oh, yeah, she couldn't stand the conversation. <laughs> no joke. That's no, not a joke. She's out. She she's literally gone. left the room during the second date update. <laughs> yeah, she gets pretty gross. Yeah, out. Tim went to go check on her. Yeah. Hopefully she's fine. Yes. 
All right, guys, hang on. We're going to set up this date. And thank you both for coming on Second Date Update. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right, if you need help with a Second Date Update, you just email us, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Uh, it is National Margarita Day. We're going to talk mimosas for a minute next. But first, traffic with Denise. What's up? Thanks for